Tab, a very warm welcome to Cheltenham Town Football Club. Joining us here at the Johnny Rock Stadium, what are your initial thoughts on getting your future tied up? Yeah, I'm really pleased to get it all done, you know. Um, and I think this is going to be the perfect place for me to um, really show people what I can do. Yeah, you ended last season on loan at Gillingham in League One, having scored a few goals in League Two for Forest Green. Like you say, perhaps the perfect level to come in and be a regular and to find the back of the net. Yeah, and that's what I want to do. I just want to really nail down a starting place in a team and, you know, kick on now. Yeah, you've been able to go to lots of different clubs, whether that was on loan from West Brom or, or permanently. Um, is it you know, quite pleasing that you now get the chance to work with players like Luke Varney, who's got vast experience, who you can perhaps learn off? Yeah, and I feel like um, I'm going to try and take in as much as I can from him. Um, speaking to the gaffer um, coming in here, I feel like this is somewhere where I can really like, kick on now, and that's what I've kind of been looking for. So fortunately, I'm happy that like, the deal has been sorted. Robin's fans will be very excited by your arrival. Uh, when they see you out in action on the pitch, what sort of striker are we going to see playing for the club? Um, I'd like to say that I'm direct. Um, I try and go towards goal as much as possible, try and make things happen quick, strong, powerful. In terms of your early career, then let's talk about starting off at West Brom. You know, that must have been a great experience to play for a club of that size and all the development you had going out on your various loan spells. Yeah, it was good um, being a local boy and um, starting off at West Brom. Um, I've had a lot of good experiences, good coaching there, and um, coming through the ranks at West Brom, you get to learn a lot. And I've been on um, a few loan spells where I've really got to learn a lot. And I feel like at this moment uh, in my career now, I can put it all together, piece it together and really like take it somewhere now. Yeah, when you look at your CV, a lot of the clubs have been sort of almost in a similar area. Some of the Midlands, obviously going down to Yeovil as well. Yeah. Does a club like Cheltenham, when, I, when you think of the geography of it, is actually perfect for you? Yeah, it suits me. But the main reason was um, speaking with the manager and, you know, um, that's what really uh, got me got me into um, signing there. You played against Cheltenham for Forest Green uh, literally just after Christmas. Um, it was quite a, a tense game that day, as you imagine a derby would be. Uh, what did you make of playing at the Johnny Rocks that day and perhaps playing against Cheltenham as a team? Um, I noticed how good the atmosphere was uh, that game. Maybe it was a derby, but the atmosphere was really good. and um, it, was a, it was a good game, 2-2 two -two draw. You know, I don't think there was much uh, in it between the two sides on the day. And then you went out on loan to Gillingham, so you loaned up a level. What was it like being involved at, at League One? You know, have an opportunity to play at a higher level. Um, when I found out that um, Gillingham was an option, I took it to try and test myself. And then I found, I found it like it was really a good loan spell for me. I learned a lot and um, it was good that the boys stayed up as well at Gillingham. It was quite late in the day, I think, that transfer was made. How was that as a, for you as a player, um, being able to you know, make that sort of decision in that sort of speed? Um, I think I knew a little bit about it, even though it was late in the day, I already knew a little bit about it. I had spoke with the manager, so it was a case of just getting it done. Yeah, obviously pre-season starts in a few weeks' time. It's nice to have your know where you're going to be playing next season all sorted. Have you had the chance to have a nice summer refresh ahead of going back to pre-season? Yeah, I've had a nice little refresh, but I'm happy that I've got it sorted and over the line, so I know and I'm just, like focused and nailed down. Yeah, yeah. and pre-season itself? It's a shortened pre-season this, this year because of the, you know, the league season starts on the 3rd of August. Lots of games to fit in. What are you like as a pre-season footballer? Are you a fan of it or is it something you just got to get done? Um, I think it's always good because you can get your base for the season and make sure you're ready to go for the rest of the season. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to just get going and meet all the boys. Yeah, and finally, is, for you, is it all about goals, goals, goals as a forward player or is there a lot more you'd say to, you, to your game that you can contribute to this team? No, I think with game time, that's all I want to do is score as many goals as I can. But also, I think I have um, other aspects to my game, which are also uh, good components to have.